lower one at Siskel Labs, and I'm back yet again playing Exoria. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having an amazing one myself. We're going to get back to this pretty amazing back here and kind of hammer things out. So in between episodes, I did a fair amount of stuff, not a ton. So I kind of did some more trees, which is pretty cool. Davquist, actually the maker of the pack, maker of AOE, fantastic guy, uh, told me about this here. Horn of the Canopy. I already knew about this thing, but I, I just didn't notice it was in the chest, man. And I uh, totally forgot about it, but uh, it, it can break leaves. So if you just have it and just right click, it just breaks all the leaves. And I believe that's pretty much in every one of those buildings that's around the world. So that is something to kind of make it so you can just get your leaves really easy. I didn't get any persimmon that time, but uh, definitely an easier way of dealing with your leaves for sure. I guess you need shears sort of, but at the same time you don't really because, well, you already have the horn of the canopy. So pretty awesome and uh, pretty cool. Anyway, we got something stuck up there. Not going to worry about that. I dug this little hole out here because uh, well, when it rains in this pack, it actually hurts you. It's actually poison. <laughs> so I don't know if you want to be spending too much time outside, but you're definitely going to want some cover. I also kind of built a stairway kind of going all the way down here. So we're kind of good. There's the old stairway that's up above. But uh, yeah, I did make another one. Just kind of linked them up really easy and made quite a few shelves. So we have all these shelves here. I prefer them big time over these chests. Ooh, let's not do that. Let's actually drop that off there. And uh, these, these ones, the doors get in the way. I'm not really a big fan of the cupboards at all whatsoever. I think I bet you that last uh, episode. I'm going to grab some tools here because I did put everything away, kind of not thinking. And uh, that pick's going to break long before too long. Let's go ahead and grab a shovel and uh, kind of get going here. So the first thing I want to do, actually, is make this here. We're going to make a flint work blade, I think. Let's kind of do that, that. Uh, drop it off stuff I don't want to drop off. Here we go. Let's grab ourselves some twine. And I think we need sticks, right? So let's grab some of them. There we go. And uh, get a flint work blade. This thing's going to make our life a little easier. So let's kind of take a look at that. And kind of get that going. I'm only going to click the plus button once. <laughs> as opposed to before. I was holding shift. And it moves all your items in there. Where you just want one recipe. Just hit it once. Don't, don't be me is basically what I'm saying. We're going to go ahead and grab all our saplings. And this is why I made this thing. So we can basically make our twine super easy. We can go like that. Get a whole bunch of plant fiber all at once. And then just kind of craft it up. Not have to worry about it. <laughs> way easier. I don't know why I was doing it the other way, but I, I guess I just hadn't seen this recipe yet. But, uh, makes it so we can make our plant time super easy. Don't even have to think about it, man. So definitely a giant quality of life thing, but uh, we'll drop this stuff off here. Maybe you off and uh, kind of get going. So first thing we're going to, uh, get, get going to, I don't even know what I'm talking about. The first quest we're going to get to, it's going to be one we kind of looked at yesterday, which was the loom. And I already went ahead and made everything, so we should be able to, well, if I actually put things into the right spot, uh, go ahead and just make that stuff really easy, because I went ahead and made all the clay and stuff. So this is the cob here. We're going to grab all that. There we go. And that's going to give us our quest. So you do need a fair amount of that stuff, but in, there's two ways to craft it. You can do it with the actual balls, which is just more work, or you can just kind of craft it up in blocks and do it that way, and just use leaves. So I went that route. It seemed like the easier route, so that's pretty cool. I guess we can go in here and kind of look at our quest line here. Looks like the only thing we can get to is strainer. We're going to need wooden hoppers. We're going to need strainer bases. We're going to need survivalist and dense survivalist uh, strainers as well. So we'll kind of get to those. Let's go to strainer. Kind of get that going. Sweet. And what do we need here for strainers? I did make a bunch of chests. Let's grab them because I saw that the wooden hopper needed those. So let's do that. So there's no way to completely avoid the chest. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to use them, but at the same time, can do I know how these things work? Anyway, I can't completely avoid them, but I can partly avoid them, right? So let's do that. Let's grab. I put the rest in there, right? Yes. I want to make sure I do that because I don't want it to grab everything, but I do want to craft numerous things at once. So let's go ahead and do that because the next step actually requires chests as well. And otherwise, it would have been a pain in the butt. So let's do that. There we go. Got all of those. That's pretty sweet. We may need some more sticks for this next part. So let's do this. Let's swap our stack. Kind of get to the actual uh, strainers themselves. Because they're going to need this stuff. I should do that by hand. Otherwise it's going to make a mess of thing. So let's go. Put four there. I'm making more than we need to. We actually only need two of each. But I'm going to make it so we have four so it's a little quicker. And there's a good chance we'll do even more of that as time progresses. Because... uh. Yeah, definitely a thing. <laughs> These traders are not super quick. Yeah, we want to get the resources. So we have two of the dents. We have two of the net. That's sweet. 
then we should be able to make the survival illustrator do that and then make some of the dense ones which is pretty cool we're going to immediately go and kind of set these up but i'm going to show you a difference here because you are going to need both so the first one kind of gets all your ores and stuff some stones some rock even gets appetite fish that we can eat and we also get the dents right here which gets you all this different set of resources so each one has a different complete set of resources which is pretty cool sapling <laughs> and uh yeah you definitely gonna need both there's also kind of a more efficient way to set this up and i'll kind of explain that here because it is pretty straightforward but at the same time if you don't know you don't know man i only know because i went and read about the mod <laughs> anyway let's do that it does mention in the book which is why i went and read about it but uh let's go here let's do that let's go ahead grab our strainers so these things have really only two rules the first one is you want them one away from a source block you don't actually want them on a source block so you want them one away so that is kind of the first way they have a rule the second one is um the second rule is that you want them one away from each other so when they're one away from source block they actually get 10 percent boost in efficiency when they're side by side if they like i put one right here it would actually get a minus 15 percent on efficiency so it just makes them work better basically so we're just going to take our strainers throw that in there we could set this up for fishing as well although i'm not seeing the actual fishing strainer so i don't know if that's even a thing it's not looking like it is actually but uh we're going to get uh fish either way so it doesn't matter these should start working pretty quick actually which is not too bad we'll just kind of let them go that's pretty sweet anyway it's given us lots of materials i should mention too something else i did between episodes over there you see that cobblestone that's actually a natural cobblestone generator. So I've actually gone and already broke some of that cobblestone. You don't get cobblestone, you get rocks. But every time I break one of those, it just comes back, gives me more cobble, and uh, it's pretty cool. There's one little kind of safe spot down there. Also, that green liquid is acid. So yeah, don't 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 stand in it. <laughs> pretty cool. We are getting our materials though. Don't think we have a way to kind of process it yet. We'll kind of leave that though. We'll probably set that to claim uh, claim the chunk. So we can kind of actually let's claim a big area here not that let's do this we can do this right claim a big area is it not going to do it why why aren't you claiming are you really going to make me claim each one individually it is too i thought you could just go yeah you can do the uh the chunk loading all at once but it's not letting me do the actual claiming all at once which is all unfortunate I'm just going to claim a good area here. Do that. Then we can chunk load it all. Then we should leave these strainers running at all times. Although FTB Utilities is sometimes a little wonky with that stuff. But anyway, that's that. That's strainers. Let's kind of move on here. Kind of take a look at the next quest because I saw that we had a furnace. And that's actually unlocked now, which is pretty cool. We need to get some cobblestone, which actually needs to be crafted. So cobble is right here need three rocks and some clay so that should be pretty easy to do it's getting so hard to get used to not running too because you move slower on these, these ash blocks right so <laughs> I, i'm so used to running everywhere i go in packs anyway but uh yeah it's definitely gonna take a while to adjust to that let's go ahead and make a good amount of this stuff i did make some extra clay so if we do this let's make let's make like 12 to start because we'll need that for that and we may need some more later so let's just do that you know what let's make like let's leave 10. <laughs> i don't care if i have to make much more clay but uh, we definitely need some of that anyway but uh, let's go ahead and make the furnace so this one's pretty straightforward sweet and grab that kind of take a look at that thing oh restriction block must be in a closed room of at least 50 blocks of interior size and at least 40 cob so that explains why we need the cob now <laughs> that's cool let's kind of go set that up down here somewhere the beginner's furnace look at that just going crazy going ham with the progression i'm just gonna throw that cob kind of in this room kind of all willy-nilly oh now that i think of it it's gonna be a little odd because actually we'll do it this way i'll do a little bit on each side it's not gonna look good in any way but i make it a little less not looking good is that a thing is that even am i even speaking english now at some point we may have to set up kind of rooms for each thing uh, this way i'll be able to get 20 on this side then maybe 20 on the other side and, uh, make it at least look like something right <laughs> look matching anyway we should be able to grab this i guess close the door and see if this thing yeah it's not saying we can't use it 
Let's go grab... Actually, let's take a look at a quest line, because there must be something we need to smell. Buckets. That's pretty obvious. Let's go ahead and make a bucket. Oh, it's a good thing I kept some clay, actually. I was going to use it all, too. Let's go ahead. Grab you. I think we just need... Let's actually make two buckets. Two buckets sounds good. Good starter amount. Then we'll be able to move liquids around, right? So that's pretty cool. Throw that in there. And get that smelted up. Is there any other quests we can kind of hammer out at the same time? Let's see here. Better furnace. We can't get to that one yet. Water. Not going to worry about that. What is this one here? Fertilizer. We need... If I didn't use my fertilizer, we'd already have that one. Uh, flint rhinestone. That Flint rhinestone. Okay. I think that takes stone, right? Flint grindstone. It is the normal recipe except for this stuff here, right? Let's use the, the Certus. Three chiseled, two cobble. Okay. So I'm going to smelt up three of those. That. That looks like a good job right there. Good plan. Doing that. One thing to note about this furnace too. I didn't grab my fire starter. Is to um, basically realize that it's going to burn fuel. Whether you're using it or not. I'm pretty sure it works like that. It's very inefficient. So, yeah, you don't want to just throw all your fuel in it, like an entire stack, unless you're going to be doing a lot of smelting. Pretty sure that's the way this one works anyway. That totally pulled too much. Let's do that, right? Got to pull the three. And I guess, can we put more in one? Oh, you can. No, it pulled my item out. Okay, we'll do the buckets first. Let's do that. Let's grab, like, six wood to start, and then give that a light, right? Right there. Sweet. There we go. Got our furnace going. That should smelt those out. And now that should give us some quests here. So pretty cool. Was there a second part of the this one? No, there wasn't. That's cool. Sweet. Got our first bucket. And our first way to move liquids. We could actually make a cobblestone generator now with um, lava and water. So we could just do it that way and have one right in our base, which would be pretty sweet. Although I don't know how much we actually need. It could be something that we end up having to do and be super easy to do. We'd lose one of the clay buckets, though, moving lava. Let's make sure that's a thing, because sometimes packs disable that. Nope, definitely in there. That is pretty cool. And, uh, we're getting our stone here. And I guess we can get straight to, I guess, the grindstone. Let's actually take a look what it wants. That is not the right one. It wanted this here. I definitely need to speed up my crop growth. I wonder if I can make some fertilizer from appetite I collected. Also, those bones might prove useful. Okay, so we're going to make some appetite. Then once we do that, we're going to make... The, sorry, we're going to get some appetite, which we're getting for straighter. We need to make the fertilizer, which I think takes sand, and then grind down bone meal. So that is kind of what it's going for there. Oh, I should pull out that extra wood. <laughs> like I said, go upstairs. And I guess we'll make our grindstone first. Probably be the best step here. Uh, I saw that it took points, though. So we're actually going to need to take some of these and grind them down a second time. There we go. There's two there's three that handles that and that should make it so we can make our grindstone there let's go to grind and stone Ooh, excellent hylios here hmm curious quartz grindstone oh i'm missing you in gear okay i'll do that by hand because otherwise i have too many sticks oh i guess i could have not done this one by hand it doesn't matter let's do that let's grab our points you know what let's just do it all by hand that, then it was that, right? Then smooth stone, cobblestone. Get this all done. Look at this, man. Look at the progress. Just getting stuff done. We almost know what we're doing here. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this pack, though. It is a pretty sweet little pack so far. It uh, seems pretty cool. So do we still have another part? Oh, we just need to grind down bone meal. Okay, let's do that. That should be pretty simple. Should be the easiest part of that. Let's kind of get rid of this stone, too. Bone meal. No bone. Sweet. Do that. Start getting it in there. And you should just have to grind this down. You just right click. And uh, yeah, every once in a while, it's going to spit out one. Not done yet. <laughs> it's not particularly quick. Usually use this thing for AE2. So yeah, definitely a thing we'll probably have to do later on. But, uh, not too big a deal. And there we go. We have a way to kind of bone meal crops, which is pretty cool. Although we don't have any crops yet. <laughs> So what's this one I want? Terra clay, loam. What's this one? With me being able to move water, I can now clean these dirty clay. Oh. Put these in the water and should be able to do it. This allows you to make sturdy, a sturdy crucible which will be able to melt things. Huh. Okay. So I would have to make... I have four terra clumps. I may make 
one more terra clay or is it just let me look at that again what did it actually want it wants a terra clay and it wants a loam okay we oh, don't run let's go down here let's grab we have some sand coming out of the trader now so we should be able to make the fertilizer if we got some appetite as well actually we have to have got some appetite grab one of you we've got here rocks at dca getting good amount of ores which is pretty cool i'm sure we'll get to the point where we can kind of process that pretty soon it's pretty awesome yeah, we're getting mud balls. Oh, there's the sand. Okay. And we only got three of the loam. Huh. Because uh, I think I saw this here, right? Light it up. The fire start is very important. Now it can make charcoal. So to make the charcoal pit, we actually need 16 of the loam. So at some point, I may do a couple of minutes kind of idling. Because uh, I would like to get that done today. So we have a way to make the charcoal, which is pretty cool. So what else did we need for this particular one, though? To do this one, we need a wooden barrel, loam, and terra. I didn't grab a loam. So I went down to grab another appetite and I grabbed a loam because we needed that. Then I noticed we have dirt balls, so we can just straight up make dirt now, which is pretty cool. <laughs> That's actually awesome. Uh, we can make sand as well, so we can actually make a bunch of resources. Uh, now that we have this, though, we can actually make more appetite, so kind of get that going. Sorry, fertilizer. I'm going to keep calling it appetite. Same thing to me. Let's do that because i think we have three right yes we have three so let's get that done i think that's going to yes that's going to be a quest right there which is pretty cool grow your crops and grindstone so we have all that one now once this get into regrowth so once another appetite geez and an lg and dry pasture seeds i haven't seen that stuff yet so while we're waiting let's go ahead and make a wooden barrel kind of see what we're getting to here Looks like it sounds like we're making regular clay, right? It's probably on the next tab. I just didn't see it there. Wooden barrel and it's not highly. Oh, we actually have slabs right here. Let's grab a slab right there. There we go. Get one of them. I want to get rid of the rest of those slabs actually, just so it doesn't try to craft 13 barrels on me. <laughs> Let's do that. Let's uh, put you there because that's a good place for you. Let's grab you and gonna have ourselves a wood barrel pretty sweet should be able to take that now uh we're gonna need water though so maybe we'll take this down by the water just to try it out um i don't know if the water is infinite actually we should probably check that really quickly shouldn't we <laughs> i'm doubt i'm doubting it is and actually last time i was down here i broke one of the source blocks that went right there but it doesn't matter because it still went away so that is okay let's go here oh no it is definitely not infinite well maybe it is no it's not that sucks. Uh oh, there we go. Grab it from below. Anyway, let's do that and let's see if we can put the tear clay in here. Again, sweet. So, what are we using the loam for? Does it want to wash that as well? So, they can both be turned into clay. So, I don't want to do that right now with the loam. So, we won't do that. And what does it want here? It wants us to make a crucible in oak leaves. Where are we getting oak leaves? Oh, just tree leaves. So, that crucible. What do we need there? Probably, a bunch, well, obviously a bunch of bricks. But, uh, Cruz. There we go. Might not get to that right away. I guess we just need, let's see here. Let's do that. Punch you. Let's see how many we get. We get four. <laughs> That's not too bad. Oh, let's see here. We've got mud balls. We've got terra clay. That's exactly what I need here. So let's go ahead do this then this will probably be the easiest route where we don't waste resources we want to use let's get another terra clay kind of grab a bucket as well can we get that done use one more bucket of water here and kind of get that done so with water not being infinite some of this stuff's going to be a little bit of work <laughs> for sure okay so let's go and i guess smelt those down the bricks right and we only need seven so we have exactly what we need so that's pretty sweet Okay, I got my bricks all smelted up here. We should be able to just kind of get this crafted really quick and easy. So go ahead and grab that. Sweet. And uh, which one was that? That was Bread of Furnace. Let's go here. Yeah, we have that there. Guess we just need some leaves. So that's pretty cool. And let's see. It looks like it's going to make water for us, actually. So that is pretty cool. Let's grab some of you. And can we just put that in here? How do we do this? How's it work? Let's go here. Let's see here. This allows me to make a sturdy crucible, which will be able to melt things. Helpful. 
would be to create water, as water seems to be finite on this planet. Lighting a fire under the crucible will allow to make good heat source. As ash seems to keep fire. Okay, I didn't know ash kind of kept fire, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, we can make lights just out of ash, which is actually pretty neat when you think about it. Let's do that. Sweet. And grab a basalt. Let's throw you right there. And how's this work? Let's grab some leaves. That can't be right. Do you throw things in? Ah, it's one of those ones. <laughs> so I can just throw water in here. That's cool, because I can actually move that barrel up here. Can I just throw like a whole stack? What happens? Yeah, it just keeps making stuff. Okay, cool. That's actually pretty neat. I like that. <laughs> It's a little weird how it's not cool. I guess you can see the tank on it. That's cool. Valid heat source. Probably get better tanks. I wonder if lava works too. Lava might straight up work. But uh, we'll kind of try that out later. Just kind of figure things out. Getting the mechanics down and how things are going to work. So next thing we're going to get to, I think, is going to be this one. Regrowth. I actually have the LG and the Appetite kind of in my inventory. So that's pretty cool. And uh, some of the loam here too. So we have a good amount of loam. We should be able to kind of progress through a good part of this. So let's go ahead. Let's head over to the portal real quick. We should be able to just do this, right? Go to the home portal. Sweet. And uh, if we kind of look at the recipes here, let's go to... Uh, it wants to make dry pasture seeds is what the recipe wanted. So if we go here and go dry pasture, you will see quickly that it wants us to take algae and appetite, throw through the portal, and give us dry pasture seeds. And, uh, we'll read quest here in a second. But, uh, I just want to kind of get that done. So that's pretty cool. They're from Batania, of course. And uh, they're supposed to be able to just make uh, materials for you. So... Uh, sorry, make grass for you, which is what we're kind of going for. Let's go ahead and kind of take a look here. Oh, I kind of jumped by. Plant life. If I show this thing to people at home, they can give me something. We already did that. Now that I have dry grass, maybe I can dig through it. Uh, like the coarse, loomy dirt. So we're going to have to shift and right-click that, obviously, and get some plant life. So that is actually pretty cool. So if you go to, was it dry pasture? Oh, it doesn't actually show. I thought it showed the uh, the kind of grass that was. I guess we'll have to go and kind of actually go make some dirt. We might actually go and grab some more of the dirt balls. We'll kind of get that done there. Then we'll kind of hammer that out. Then maybe also, maybe we've got some more loom actually. If we've got some more loom, I might be able to make a bigger charcoal pit because that is kind of one of the quests here. We're kind of waiting on to get charcoal. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet in itself. So what do we get going here? Nothing special, nothing special. More of this. The appetite seems to come in pretty slow. But you reach a point very quickly with that stuff where you really don't need it anymore. So that is definitely a thing. Let's go ahead. Got some more LG too. Don't need that stuff right now. What I do want is the dirt balls. Let's grab that. Grab that. We'll fully automate these at some point. But uh, just not right now. Because uh, we don't have a lot of stuff. I see that we have a piping quest for build craft. Which is pretty cool in itself. I'm really loving this pack, man. <laughs> like, I just kind of want to do it all. Just get it done. I just like the layout of the early game. It seems pretty sweet. So I can put that there. Kind of use that for washing whenever I need to do that for now. Until we actually build a proper base. I should be able to make a good amount of dirt here, right? Because I forget how far these pasture seeds actually spread. I, I actually can't remember for the life of me. Let's kind of get a good little area of it going. Kind of see here. Because I think it only kind of spreads a maximum distance or a maximum number of blocks. I forget how it works. But, uh, we'll do that. Kind of see how it goes here. Oh, that did a good... Wow, I could have done more than that. Let's actually grab the rest of those, I guess, and drop those off so I don't use them accidentally. Try shift right clicking those stuff and see what we get here. Let's see here. Ooh, getting seeds, man. We're getting crops. <laughs> stuff we can make crops with anyway. Here we go. Potato, lettuce, oh, I can get food that is not persimmons. I mean, not that persimmons are bad. I actually like a good persimmon. What is this? Bamboo sapling. We can actually even get the bamboo. Isn't that a sugarcane alternative? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Wow. It's pretty cool. I like this mechanic. I think that I looked at the mod that I was actually doing this. I think it was called uh, Scavenger. That's what it was, or was it Scavenge? One of the two. Cool little mod that kind of just gives devs ways of kind of dropping new materials. Setting rules for blocks is basically the way it works. And it's pretty awesome. 
Wow, we just got a bunch of stuff. <laughs> I have no idea where to put all this stuff. We will get this planted. I'll probably set most of that up in between episodes. Because I don't think you guys want to watch me set up a farm. Uh, I don't think that is a good time. But anyway, we'll get them in here. And maybe look at the rest of the quest. Kind of see what we can go in here. Just trying to see what we got here. Beetroot. Grass seed. So we can actually straight up just grow grass now, which is good. Because we'll be able to bone meal things. And maybe get a separate loot table. I don't know if it's going to be a thing or not. But there's a food mod in here. That's X and the high low for the cactus. That's cool. So we even have cactus now. Strawberry. Oh, we got all the good foods. Look at this, man. We got totally hooked up here. Awesome. And regular seeds. Pretty cool. So that is a cool little thing. And uh, we have that one done. Oh, I needed 25 dirt. <laughs> oh, I'll have to do that one later on. I kind of jumped ahead and didn't even pay attention. But uh, now uh, we have these dirt balls coming in. That's not a problem at all. I'm not even worried about that. Looks like it wants us to get another seed up here at some point. And uh, we'll go ahead and do our charcoal pit. I'm just going to make sure we have all our loomy. And we'll need some wood piles, actually. You need these, right? I think you need that. Oops, let's not do that. Let's break you. And grab wood pile. Sweet. Grab our good old forestry stuff. I guess that takes anything. Sweet. So that's 16. I can't use that many, but uh, we'll get as many as we can. I'm trying to think of how many we could do with this. It's probably going to be the minimum still, which is unfortunate, but uh, we'll get as much done as we can. And it looks like we've already gone through a mesh, or sorry, a strainer. So I will have to get those going. We're definitely going to have to hopper those in. I'm pretty sure you can hopper those in. Can I get any more loom? No more loom, man. It's unfortunate. <laughs> we'll just set up what we can. So it doesn't really matter where this goes. Let's just set up right here because it is going to be a bit of a mess. There we go. Let's grab some loom. Go like that. Sweet. And then we need four for the top, right? If I had two more, I could do the second row. I may go make a straighter mesh, kind of get that done. And then, yeah, two more, we could kind of get double the amount done at once. Which sounds like a good idea. So I'm going to go make a straighter mesh and wait a minute or two and then I'll be back. And okay, we got enough loom here now. So we're going to get this going. So all we need to do is kind of cover this up. So we could cover it up like that. Then we're actually going to use our fire starter, light that on fire and just completely cover it. It should emit smoke particles if it's still working like it is, right? It's still going. And uh, in time, over a long period of time, quite a while, uh, that'll slowly turn into charcoal, at which point we can just kind of farm that up kind of just get it all and kind of repeat the process and as we get more loom we can make that larger and larger kind of do more at the same time so that is pretty cool and pretty awesome so that is kind of all finished up there and i'm quite happy with that so let's grab this loom let's throw that there and uh, i beat one too many strainers let's put you here and let's do let's do dropping off stuff man just getting stuff all over the place i grabbed the ore chunks too because i wanted to see if we could use them in any way it doesn't seem like we can but there is a quest in the quest line, one of the next ones, to actually make sluice juice, which is the sluice box from Magneticraft. And that sounds like it would be a pretty cool idea. Need a bunch of flint here. I don't know why it wants us to have flint, but uh, we have a bunch of it anyway, just from breaking rocks. C can you just give me my flint? There we go. <laughs> Gotta get that going. So what do we need for the actual sluice here? Uh, let's get you. It has a one you can automate later in the pack. This one cannot be automated at all, so... We need a fiber mesh, and that's just plant fiber. Which, do we still have saplings, or did I process every one of those? I think we have saplings, right? So, there we go. Fibers? Oh, that's not enough, man. Oh, no. Ah, we got one tree. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab. What's the easiest way to make fibers? Let's just do it the old-fashioned way, right? So, the old-fashioned way. Oh, I got pumpkin seeds on me. Let's get rid of those was just the leaves. So let's do it this way. I didn't show this e either. This is actually the faster way of doing this because I was actually doing it the slow way. You just take what you want kind of in your offhand. So kind of like that. You kind of go like this, right? So you just right click like that. Way quicker than how I was doing it yesterday for sure. And, uh, pretty sweet. Get ourselves our fibers really quick. We'll also do a few extra as well just in case we need them for anything. And sweet. Okay, good enough for now. Let's go ahead and actually make that thing we needed, which was, was this one called a fiber mesh? Sweet, there we go. And let's see if we can make this. What do we still need? Just some wood and some planks. We have to have both of those things. 
So that should be too bad. And we'll have sluice just like that. Sweet. Okay, so sluice box. Super easy to use. This thing is really, really easy to use actually. Throw it down. Apparently it goes the way you place it. I don't like it when machines do that. Especially when you don't give me tools to kind of move things around. I guess we'll just put it like that for now. There we go. Should be able to grab the iron ore, right? And throw it in there. Or is it you do you, you actually throw it in there? I forget how it works. <laughs> huh. Okay, let's read this. <laughs> there we go. Gathering flint is quite cumbersome. Oh, we can't do the ores in here. So this isn't for the ores. So I assumed it was going to be for the ores. But it's not. We're going to have to get to some kind of melting crucible, it looks like. I'm curious. I'm curious, really quick. We're going to do something really quickly. Because it doesn't show it, but I'm wondering if we can smelt these up. So I'm going to try putting one of these in here really quickly. Then we'll get back to that. Because we can use that to get flint. And it's still useful. It's definitely a thing, but uh, I want to see, like, I have so much going on in my head right now in this pack. Like, how's this going to work? How's that going to work? No, it's not going to let us. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Because they didn't even show that we could do the uh, clay in there. I had to kind of just try it out and see if it worked here. These guys just keep burning themselves. They need to stop that, man. They need to learn to love life. Anyway, let's go ahead and make some gravel. Because the gravel recipe is just this, right? So we should be able to take that now and put that in there. Sweet. Then we grab a bucket of water, kind of like this, right? And I believe we just pour that on top. And that's going to spit out flint, right? That's actually really cool. Okay, cool. So we have a good... Wow, that gave a lot of flint too. So that is a good easy way to get flint. Oh no, I had my flint on me. It's going to say there's no way it gave us that much flint. <laughs> that's crazy. How do we do it on flint here? I'm curious on the recipe. See here? So you get 100% from one, 15% for two. So that's kind of how that works there. Pretty sweet, pretty cool, and pretty done. And okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later!